Apple just announced the new M5 MacBook Pro, the M5 iPad Pro, and the M5 Vision Pro. <laughs> and this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know in hopefully five minutes. I'm not even gonna cut this camera once. This can be a one take because there is not that much you need to know. So let's start off with the M5 MacBook Pro. First thing to know is obviously the M5 chip is the star of the show with these new products. And the big thing that they're pushing is that it is enhancing AI computing. So what they mean by that is not necessarily chat GPT, but rather these processing things that you do on like Photoshop and Final Cut Pro, like generative fill or magnetic mask, these tools that are powered by AI or machine learning are gonna be faster and more efficient with this new chip. You're definitely gonna notice a pretty big difference if you're coming from an earlier like M1 MacBook or definitely if you're coming from an Intel-based MacBook, that would be if you have a MacBook before 2020, this would be mind-changing for you. Uh, and if you're coming from an M4 or a more recent MacBook, I don't know if I could recommend that you upgrade to this new chip. It's gonna be more powerful, but at the end of the day, do you really need it? Probably not. Now here's the specs. It is coming in 14 inches at $1,600. So there's no M5 Pro or M5 Ultra. There's no 16 inch right now. It's just a 14 inch laptop at $1,600 US dollars. It's available in space black and silver. Comes with improved SSD, 24 hours of battery life, up to four terabytes of storage. It's available October 22nd. Now, the M5 iPad Pro. This comes in two configurations, an 11-inch model and a 13-inch model. The 11-inch base model comes in at $1,000. The 13-inch model comes in at $1,300. You can add cellular onto both of those for a little more money uh, if you want cellular. Differences here are, of course, the M5 chip, you're going to have increased memory bandwidth. It's got a new Apple wireless chip and N1, a new Apple C1X cellular chip. All that means is faster Wi-Fi, faster cellular. And it comes with a Blackmagic keyboard, which a lot of people like. That's a new option. And it's got faster charging, and that's also available October 22nd. Last but not least, the M5 Vision Pro. This starts out at $3,500, which is very expensive, but it is the same price as it was before. It didn't get more expensive, so you do get a better product now uh, at the same price, but I think a lot of people were hoping it was gonna get a little bit cheaper. The only real difference is, is that M5 chip, which is definitely gonna be a performance boost for something like the Vision Pro, which is use a, uses a lot of processing power, and they have a new comfortable headband now. <laughs> but that's pretty much the big differences here. Um, Apple is also selling this Logitech Muse digital pen that lets you illustrate digitally in the Vision OS, which I think that's pretty neat for creatives. And I've even seen like Photomator has an app on Vision Pro now, and I see people on Instagram all the time who use the Apple Vision Pro to do murals. I think there's a lot of cool things you can do with the Apple Vision Pro, but the biggest problem is that price tag. $3,500 is rough. For me to make a review, I had to buy it and then hope I didn't break it and return it seven days later because I did not want to pay $3,500. Hopefully in the future, we'll see an Apple Vision Pro Lite that is, or an Apple Vision Air that's a little bit cheaper. Um, or we can probably expect to see some AR glasses in the near future from Apple to rival Meta's. But for right now, the M5 Vision Pro is all we got. Now, if you've ever wondered how I know all this stuff, how I stay in the loop on creative news, I actually go through Reddit, I go through Twitter, X, I go through different websites and publications. And throughout like each month, I am writing stuff down and trying to figure out what I need to make videos on and all this information. And I decided I'm actually gonna make a newsletter. It's called The Creative Brief. This is not a paid ad or anything, don't skip forward. And it's just a newsletter that I wanted to make to share with you all the stuff that I'm already tracking. So if you're interested in Adobe news, Apple news, the new affinity update, Blender 5.0 is coming out, all of this stuff for creatives, you might wanna check out the creative brief. It's just a once a month email in your inbox 
that keeps you up to date and in the loop. I'm gonna put a link to that in the description on where to sign up. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Grayson. This is Grayson's Graphics. This channel is for creatives, for designers, and this is my logo. I actually got it trademarked by Trauma TM. If you ever wanna get your logo trademarked, check them out. I'll put that in the description too. And if you are thinking about whether or not to buy these M5 iPad, MacBook, Vision Pro, I actually have done hands-on reviews with the M4 MacBook Air, the M4 iPad, and the Vision Pro. So make sure you check out those videos. I've got a playlist right here with those videos for you to check out. Can I recommend upgrading? I don't know, maybe. It kind of depends on your budget. I think at this point, I would still recommend most people just need a MacBook Air, which is why I made this M4 MacBook Air review because this is an M2 MacBook Air and does all my video editing, all my photo editing, everything I need and do without any problem at all. So check out this playlist if you're interested in buying one of these and um, uh, subscribe to the Creative Brief.